Hello, my name is Dr. Monica Flores, a pediatrician in South Florida since 2001, and today we're going to be talking about the vaccines that our office gives at the 11-year-old checkup. The first vaccine is tetanus, Tdap. It is required for entry into seventh grade, and it protects you against uh, tetanus, diphtheria, and pertussis, which is whooping cough. And tetanus is the one if you step on a rusty nail, you like duck. Ah! You like this and you die. So that one is important and it's gonna be required both for seventh grade, high school, and college. Second is meningitis, Minoctra, A, C, Y, and W. That vaccine is a very important vaccine because meningitis is a bacterial disease that goes into your body, starts like a flu, uh, like illness with fever, body aches, etc. And in a few days it enters into your brain, eats your brain, and either you die or you lose pieces of your brain. So you would lose your intellect. You can also lose fingers, toes, arms, legs. It is required for college. So all college students who are going to be sleeping in a dormitory are required to have two monotras five years apart. So one at 11 and one at 16. In addition and last is your HPV vaccine, human papillomavirus. In women, HPV protects against cervical cancer. In men, it protects you from giving cervical cancer to your significant other, or if uh, a little bit against penile and rectal cancer. When given in a young age, under 15, it's only two vaccines, one at 11, and one six months later, six to, six to 12 months later. And if you give it after the age of 15, then you have to have three vaccines. The reason is that when you're younger, you have better immunogenicity, meaning your immune system is younger, stronger, better, and forms a better reaction against it. Uh, HPV is a sexually transmitted disease. It can be passed by any naked body parts touching your partner's naked body parts. And so you want to give it before your child enters any sort of relationship. The reason I recommend it, even if your if child is only going to have one partner in life and they're gonna abstain until marriage, you do not know what that partner's history was. And whenever they do enter an intimate relationship, then they are sleeping not only with that partner, but all their other partners. In addition to that, for women especially, uh, since the, the rate of cervical cancer has decreased significantly with the HPV vaccine, they are now no longer doing pap smears on a regular basis after the age of 21. They're actually waiting three to five years to do pap smears, and that's really the only way to diagnose a, a cervical cancer. So because of that, uh, because most women don't even go to get their pap smears done, I highly recommend that all teenage girls and boys receive the HPV vaccine. Thank you. Hope this helps.